I'm gonna talk about uh food. I'm gonna talk about food for all the foodies out there, for um all those people you know who who like from like outside food, home cooked food, whatever it is. Make sure y'all tune into this episode. I feel like this is the, I wouldn't say yeah, I would say this is probably like the best places to go and eat, or something along those lines. Um. In New York City, so, you know, those who, who, who live in the city, feel me, y'all should probably check out these places. I feel like the best, like, restaurant for me, like, my go-to, my go-to, I feel like a lot of people know this, is Benihana's. I would say, uh, 212 Steakhouse. That steakhouse is tough. Um, I man, I'm back with another Front Row Talk podcast. From Real Talk episode, the podcast with expensive opinions. Um, this is episode 32. Before we even get started, I want to thank everybody who, you know, tuned into the last episode. What did I talk about the last episode? Um, was it the, I think it was the little baby album. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, thank you for everybody who tuned in. For everybody who, who, you know, peeped the video, who watched it, who gave it a click. For those who, you know, peeped the um, TikTok of the podcast where I'll post the clips of the um, pot, the podcast episode. I want to thank everybody. Um, make sure y'all comment, y'all like, subscribe. Um, yeah. Hopefully y'all did tune into Lil Baby album. Uh, before I even get to this, to this, you know, episode today, I'll say the Baby album was... Out of ten, I'll give it like a eight. It was good. I, I liked it. Um, I ha- I haven't really gave it a complete second listen yet. I just went back to specific songs. But yeah, I mean that's not the point. Just make sure you tune into last episode. Um, and yeah, just stay consistent with the support and everything else. But today we're gonna talk about something I haven't really talked about. Um, I'm surprised I haven't talked about it because you know I I love what I'm about to talk about as in like the topic. I feel like we all do, but um, I'm gonna talk about uh, food. I'm gonna talk about food for all the foodies out there, for um, all those people you know who who like from like outside food, home cooked food, whatever it is. Make sure y'all tune into this episode. I feel like this is the, I wouldn't say yeah, I would say this is probably like the best places to go and eat, or something along those lines. Um, in New York City, so. You know, those who, who, who live in the city, feel me? Y'all should probably check out these places. And yeah, so to get straight into it, um, to be honest, I before we even get into any type of, you know, restaurant or any spa or any truck, whatever the case may be, I personally feel like, you know, home-cooked food is the best food. Um, me personally, I come from a Dominican household, so, you know, my parents tend to cook a lot. Um, throughout the week, at least I'll say like four or five times throughout the week. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I was raised, you know, I, my parents always cooked since I was a youngin. So, you know, they'd cook rice, they'd cook beans, they'd cook chicken, they'd cook goat, um, oxtail, um, you know, a lot, just a lot. Like any, any type of like Dominican dish that you would think. And they, 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 but they keep it, they keep it like very traditional, you know, and I, I, I love it. I mean, I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. This is why I feel like, you know, I personally got to learn how to cook, but yeah, I mean, before we even get into anything, I personally feel me, and this is all my opinion. So don't think that like, you know, of course this is my expensive opinion. Um, yeah, I just felt like home, like nothing could be home cooked food. Of course, like going out one day, you know. It may be better than you, like, cooking something at home or eating something at home. But if, like, you know, I feel like it's the best because that's what I eat the most. And I'm really not even tired of it. I mean, those who, 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 who came over to the crib, you know, who, who who's ever came over, y'all know how, how, how it is. You know, I feel like everybody likes my parents cooking. But to get straight into it, though, um, I feel like the best, like, restaurant for me, like, my go-to... My go-to, I feel like a lot of people know this, is Benihana's. Benihana's is too tough. Like, I, I, I fuck with Benihana's heavy. Um, I feel like hibachi food is, is especially from Benihana's, because there's a lot of different hibachi spots. But I feel like hibachi food from Benihana's, like, is different. Some people, like, 
you know, don't really own too big into hibachi, and I, I respect it, I understand it. But from the first time I had it, I'm like, nah, like, this is it. So I feel like Benihana's is one. Um, For those who haven't been to Benihana's, just go, you know. It's not, it's not too expensive, I feel like. Um, it's worth it though, and I always take to go home. I always, I always, cause it's just that good. That's just me though. Um, and for number two, I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't really want to list like one through whatever, but it's, I wouldn't really put it in order. You know, this is just certain restaurants I wrote down that I wanted to share. For num for number two, I'll say uh two one two steakhouse. That steakhouse is tough. Um. I don't know, y'all probably been to it, y'all probably haven't. Uh it's a it's a low key steakhouse, it's in Manhattan. Um I don't know specifically where it's at. But make sure y'all go, you know, if you if you wanna go to a good steakhouse, say chip two one two steakhouse. I'm over here promoting them, but it's not really promotion. I'm just really sharing, like, you know, my um the, the restaurants that I think um are like the best places to eat, like I said. But yeah, two one two steakhouse when I went I got I think I got lobster mac and Filet mignon, I think. I think yeah, I think that's what I got. Um, it was worth it. It was it was it was I only went one time, but it was worth it like a thousand percent. I'll definitely go again. Um everything was good, everything, everything was good. And and it's not it's not too big, so it's like low key, you know, you go, you, you have a good time, you know. Everybody got their different preferences, but I, I, I like to just go you know, sit down, chill, eat my food, you know, whoever I go with, if it's by myself or, like, with some friends or whatever the case may be, I like to go down, sit, eat, you know, have a, have a good time and, like, not, not, not having too much noise around me and stuff. But that's just me. Uh, to move on, Lobster House from City Island. Lobster House from City Island is tough. Um, I had one, like, three times. It's too, too good. I know there's another spot in City Island that everybody go to. I don't know. I, I'm people are gonna probably bash me for like not knowing the name, but Lobster House and that other spot, the outdoor joint, that one's tough. Um, yeah, City Island is just a good place. That's like a good go-to in the Bronx for you know for seafood. I feel like I feel like if you haven't been to City Island, you living under a rock. Um, but yeah, Lobster House, I like the. Um, Clearly the lobster and uh what was it? Um they got pasta too. Ch they got chicken alfredo too. They, they just got a lot. I, I like it. Um and it's it's the, the the vibe inside is good. It's pretty big, like, you know, since you know it's a it's a it's a spot that's like a lot of a lot of families and stuff go. But lobster house is definitely up there. To move on, baby tacos. Yo, if you know me, you know I'd be Bam and burrito. Like, I'd be going crazy with the burrito tacos. Um, if you, I feel like if you haven't had burrito tacos um, yet, you're, like, lost. Like I said, with the... What was it? Was it with the... Yeah, with the City Island. I feel like if you haven't had burrito tacos, you're lost with the consome and all of that. It's too tough. Too tough. I didn't had it, like, over 20 times already. Um, from different trucks too. Some trucks be head cracking. Some trucks be charging four seventy five a taco. Some trucks, I think the original trucks be charging three dollars a taco. But it's worth it though. If you haven't had it, go search it up. Uh, baby tacos. I personally like it. I haven't got tired of it yet. I don't have it all the time, but when I have it, I make sure I buy a good amount. Probably like make sure I, I buy it to save some for later. I, I like to eat. I like, I'm not gonna lie. I love food, so that's just me. Um, yeah, baby tacos. I'll throw in there. I'll throw in Chipotle there too, just cause I, I didn't really write it down. But Chipotle is definitely tough. It's 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 not all that, but it's a go to for me as well when I'm eating like outside food and it's something quick I want to get. Um, throwing Chick Fil A in there as well. Um, another restaurant I wrote down was Florida Mayo. For those who don't know. Oh my God, you gotta go try it out. Um, it's I think it's in Manhattan if I'm not mistaken. Like Spanish food with like Chinese food at the same time. They got a bunch of options. Um, but I, I I had it once. I had it once. I'm not gonna lie. I had it once and I fell in love with it. Um, and I bought like a lot of food. I bought chicharrón. I bought some like it's just some like type of Chinese rice or whatever. It's it was just too tough. Um. I'll definitely go again. 
And like I said, this is not in order. This is just a list I, I wrote. I didn't really try to put it in order. Because, you know, it's different types of food. So you really can't compare at the end of the day. Um, and yeah, I, to end it off, most soul food restaurants, oh my God. With the, with the mac and cheese and the fried chicken and the... Oh, tch, too tough. Um, I, I, I was thinking of... I don't think I remember the name of the soul food restaurant. It's this one... It's in Brooklyn. Yo, it is too tough. Uh, I forgot the name. But yeah, most soul food restaurants, y'all yeah, know what so good soul food um, tastes like. So, you know, I, anyone out there that, that, you know, that you could really get like a good plate and like, you know, bust it down. Soul food is tough too. And yeah, I mean, I feel like I named a good amount. If I feel like I, I'm definitely forgetting certain, um, definitely forgetting certain restaurants. It's just too much. I was sitting down and I was thinking, I'm like, damn, which one am I forgetting? But it didn't come to mind. I know after I'm, I'm editing the video and all of that, I'm definitely going to be like, damn, like I forgot this one and that one. But um, I try to just keep it, you know, restaurants here in New York. Um, I've been to Florida and I had good good food. I've been to DR and I had good food. I've been to different places. But I kept it, I kept it, you know, here in the city. Um, and yeah, uh. Like I said, I said Benny Hanna's, 212 Steakhouse, Lobster House, Burger Tacos, Florida Mayo, Mo's Soul Food Restaurants, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle. I'm probably making y'all hungry while y'all watching this. But yeah, I mean, um, but number one, number one, no matter what, is home-cooked food for me. It's different for everybody. Um, and yeah, that's just that's just my list of um, best places to eat in New York City. Um... Make sure y'all tune into this episode. I definitely gotta hit up some of the restaurants soon, cause this too is too 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 far, and it's worth the money. Like it's worth the money. The money's not no problem when I when it comes down to like a good restaurant with good food, and yeah. Um, and I done been to bad restaurants in the city too, but you know that that's definitely not. We're not even gonna name those, cause that's not the topic. But I'm gonna end it right there. Make sure y'all tune into this episode. This is episode. 32, if I'm not mistaken, um, to 32, 33, y'all know by the title, uh, make sure y'all subscribe, y'all like, y'all comment, y'all share, um, and yeah, tune in to the description, I got my IG down there, I got the TikTok, where y'all can see the clips, and yeah, man, it's your boy Salsita, and I'm out.